Hey, I got a Lone Star Rider here in Egglet. Yeah, Egglet. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Guys, I'm glad you stuck around. I've been looking at these things here on uh, Amazon, and I was kind of curious they were. Found a friend that had some, so they're uh, I stole them. <laughs> no, I love they're loaned to me. Of course, I might get to keep them. You never know. All right, well, she's shaking her head. Yes, I'm keeping them. Anyway, what you do is you crack an egg and you put them in these little containers and then you boil them. Yeah. Uh, I didn't video cracking them, but maybe I'll do that on the next round and then put it in this video. Anyway, let's take a look at these things. Be sure to check out the outtakes at the end of this video. Yeah, there's a few there. <clears throat> All right, here's the egg glitch right here. This is basically silicone and it has a lid on it here. Let's uh, get that lid off. To you. There you go. And let's look inside here. I've already got an egg in here. The silicone goes around the edges so it kind of gives it a seal when you put the lid back on. Nice and tight. And I've got two of them here. Have some water boiling here in just a minute. It's coming to a boil. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to do a soft boil. See if it's boiling yet. And it is boiling. All right, so I'm going to drop these two egglets in here. There's one and two. Setting the timer for five minutes. Going to do a soft boil, and then I'll take them out with the magic of video. Be right back. All right, it's time. It's been five minutes. Turn that off, and it, they have little holes in it. I didn't even think about that. I can take a little knife here and pull this out. I just got this knife, and I'm pulling it out. Put that right there. Pull this other one out. I can make tea with this now. <laughs> Put it right there. I'm going to let it cool for about a minute, and then I'm going to... Uh, see what the end result is here. Hopefully five minutes was just perfect for this. We'll find out here in just a minute. Oh, the other one fell. Yep, water on top of this. We'll pour that off. And it does look my egg is soft boiled, so let's see if it's actually Turn this upside down. I'm going to have to grab a spoon. Okay, it's definitely soft boiled. Okay. I didn't read the instructions doing this. You're supposed to put some kind of vegetable oil on the inside. And if you notice when I took it out, I had to scoop it out. But this is soft boiled the way I liked them at five minutes. So it did do a good job at that. But I had to scoop it out with a spoon. I guess it would help to follow the directions. Also, I found out there's a little vent hole here. Little tiny vent hole. So maybe that's how the water got in there. I'm not sure. But yeah. Uh, these eggs turned out pretty good. I think I like these little egglet things. It's because sometimes you have problems peeling off the shell. In this you wouldn't have any problems at all. Uh, let's take a look at these eggs. There you go. Look at that. It's like having sunny side up eggs. Poach style. I don't like this. That's how I like my eggs. Nice and runny. Oh yeah. Not bad at all.
awesome. First test turned out pretty good. Spooned it out and eggs were good. All right, this morning I'm gonna be making some omelets in the egglets. So, uh, but I found online that you have to lubricate the inside of these things before you put the eggs in there. And the best way I found out is using a spray on and just spray the hell out of it and do that because uh, they were kind of tough to wash on the inside because it left residue of the eggs on the uh, inside so but I did get it cleaned up and finally uh, a little bit of scrubbing uh, but this time I'm going to spray the heck out of it and then I'll but, but I'm going to make an omelet this time and see how that worked I'll do this. I want to mix everything up first and then I'm going to pour it in. Bacon, you know, eggs, cheese. It's going to be bacon, cheese, omelet. I guess I should start boiling the water. Let me go ahead and do that first. What did I do with my pan? There it is. thing is, is I'm going to add some eggs in here. And now I'm going to add some cheese. And I don't have any shredded cheese, so I'm going to have to just kind of crumble this up in here. cheese in there. Get my bacon that I have already cooked. Put it in here. Crumble it up. Now I'll whip this up. I'm going to add just a tad milk in here because it makes it creamy. got that prepared. Let's get the egglets here prepared to be blasted with veggie oil here. Alright, I'm gonna pour this in here now. There's a line here you're supposed to not go over right here on these things. Let's so see if I can go just a little bit more in here in each one. Just a tad over the line on each one, which is fine. So we're going to screw the top on this. Make sure it's tight. They're both tight gonna wait for the water to boil and I should have some egglet omelets. All right the water's boiling. All right I'm gonna let them boil for about 12 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer here on my watch. All right they're done so let's take a look and see what they're they're gonna look like. I'm excited. <laughs> yes I am. Well, these things are laying sideways. I hope they cooked okay. 
had the lid pop off on a couple of that that one just popped off let's see how this is going to affect this me getting it out just do it this way well it looks like i put too much in these uh, egglets and i'm gonna get this one here and i'm gonna Put it in the plate. Let's see if this one just pops out. Well, I left some in there by just squeezing it. Get my spoon. Scoop the rest of this out. Looks pretty good, though. The egg does itself. Let's try another one. Looks pretty good there. Let's see if pushing this out works better. Oh yeah, much better. Still left a little bit of residue in there though. Cut into this one, see how it looks. Nice and fluffy too. Not bad. Just kind of push it. Ooh, that one popped right out. No residue. It's actually perfect shape too. Do the last one here. That one popped out too. A little bit of residue in there. Well, these are my omelets. We're gonna see how they taste. I didn't put any salt and pepper in there and I forgot to do that so I'll have to put it on top. Alright we're gonna try this. I gotta put some salt and pepper on here. The kind of guy likes lots of pepper. Cut it up here a little bit too. That don't look bad at all, actually. Looks like kind of like a scrambled egg now. Not bad. We'll finish this off here, and then I'll get back with you. Not bad for uh, an egglet omelet. All right, guys, this is my final thought on the egglets. Um... I'd rather, when I made the omelet in here, I'd rather just make a regular omelet than make the omelet in here. But as for the boiled eggs, and when I'm out in my trailer camping, dropping a couple of these in the flash boil and boiling some eggs and not having to do the uh, eggshells, I think I'm going to have two of these in the trailer. Time will tell. <laughs> I didn't have an instruction booklet with this from my friend that gave these to me. I have four of them that she gave me. So I, after I did it the first time, I went online and I found uh, a YouTube channel called Freaking Reviews. And he did a really detailed review and multi-day review on these egglets. I'll have his link down below. He did a really good review on here. The other thing is, is that when I made the omelets, I, I filled above the line. You're not supposed to fill <laughs> above the line. So the lid was popping off and, you know. Uh, but they still turned out pretty good, even though the lid popped off. But the problem was, was getting them out of the boiling water. Uh, because I was using a knife to pick these up. and uh, use them. But the omelets did taste great. Uh, the boiled eggs, I like a lot. That was that because lots of times I just buy pre-boiled eggs at the grocery stores and use them and I'll make de devil eggs at them or whatever uh, if you haven't I, I love eggs I like to uh, put eggs in everything and cook eggs and eggs are just awesome when I go out and buy one of these uh, buy these yeah they're pretty cheap on Amazon there's a link down below I get a little bit of a change back if you buy it from the link below you can get uh, four of these for about seven bucks. That's pretty darn cheap, I think. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that link down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road after this uh, pandemic thing. <sighs>
got something on my lip. Uh, I didn't have an instruction bullet. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Freaking, freaking reviews. Freaking reviews. Freaking, 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 freaking. Freak. What's the word I'm looking for? What was that? I gotta look again. Uh, shows you I'm not prepared. These things are nice and soft. <laughs> Silicone. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. Uh, allergies are killing me. enough.